guys are doing great. Thank you very much for the support. I uh, really appreciate it. Right, today I'm here to cook uh, Pani Tikka. Uh, one of the viewer requested for us. Uh, so I'm going to do it. So before going into the cooking, I just want to give a big shout. Thank you very much, Debbie Fernandez. I really appreciate the support. It's awesome. And I'm going to start using it in my, all my videos. Cool. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks. Alright guys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with cutting peppers. So we need big chunks, so what I'm doing is I'm going to dice them into cubes. I'm just going to show you what size you need the peppers to be sliced into. As you can see, like now, I'm uh, slicing uh, very big sizes. So that is the size you require. So we need to have like you know, when we skew into the skewers, they are like you know, chunky and nice. So I'm gonna cut uh, all the peppers, three peppers. So I'm going to cut the rest of them to the same size, there you go guys. I'm going to start cutting the red onion. So the same way uh, which we cut the, the peppers, we're also going to dice them into nice cubes. So that should be fine. I'm going to separate the onions, that's it, I'm going to cut the rest of the onion, there you go, the veggies are ready now, and uh, this is pani guys, uh, Indian cottage cheese, so I've already got them in cubes, so I don't need to actually cut them, so I'm just going to start preparing the marinade, thick yogurt and some ginger garlic paste give it a quick mix before I start adding the fried spices a bit of olive oil Quick mix, nice and thorough. Some lemon juice, which is going to give some uh, tanginess and vinegar as well. That's it. Some garam masala. Turmeric powder. Red chili powder, cumin powder, and some coriander powder. Salt and pepper, as per your taste. it thoroughly there you go so I'm just preparing the marinade what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the wedges and paneer and then we can mix it and then leave it for marination for about 20 minutes 
here. I'm gonna add the marinade and uh, give it a nice mix and fold. This is paneer rice, it's cottage cheese, so you need to be very gentle when you're mixing and folding it. So cottage cheese, it's very fluffy and very light. There you go, it's already looking very nice. So once we mix it thoroughly, we're gonna leave it for 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You can just uh, leave it in the fridge and then we can put it on the skewers. I'm gonna leave it uh, on the side for 30 minutes and then we're gonna start preparing the sauce. So <clears throat> it's always good to have, uh, whenever we make tikkas, uh, you need to have a sauce, like a dipping sauce. So what I'm using is, I'm using some roasted peanuts, uh, chopped mint and parsley, and some green chilies. I'm gonna blend all together. I'm not gonna cook this guys, it's gonna be raw. But once you blend it, it's gonna give you a nice creamy texture. That's it. Some vinegar to get some tangy texture on it. Some olive oil. And some salt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it. There you go. Thick and cream, creamy paste. And uh, we're gonna use this as a dipping sauce. This sauce you can also use it for any barbecue items, guys. So what I did is uh, I've soaked the skewers for a few, uh, like in 30 minutes or an hour. So when you put it in the oven, uh, it shouldn't get burned. And then, as I'm showing you, you just need to go with like onion, pepper, and paneer. Make sure that you got all the veggies and onions. There you go, that's it. So I'm gonna spray my pan, the grill pan, with some uh, olive oil. That's it. So make sure that your oven is uh, set up at uh, 200 degrees. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grill them for around 15 minutes. There you go, nice and yummy. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 